bit closer, we can see the wrinkles in your shirt. We might be able to see your zipper. Um, some of your buttons might actually show up. If you bend down, we'll get some great detail on your face. Uh, so take your tongue out, have some fun. So you know, right away, right off the bat, you can see the incredible detail that we have here. Um, so you know, one major advancement. Something else to point out that you already mentioned was the incredible field of view that we have here, both vertically and horizontally. So you can get pretty close to the sensor. We have kind of a down low placement. And you can go all the way back. As you, as you can all see, we've got this sofa showing up in the back. So we have you know, kind of great field of view in this direction. And then horizontally, you're a tall guy. Give me the wingspan and start going from side to side. You know, the reason I had you guys all you know, stand very specifically is because you know, everybody shows up. We have an incredible field of view. So you know, major differentiator, the great fidelity of the depth camera that we have here, and kind of a key part to all the technology I'm going to show you today. No, but continuing on with the eyes, we also have our 1080p HD color feed. So just take a look at this beautiful, thick, this beautiful picture. We heard about it in the keynote. Imagine you know skyping with grandma on Christmas morning from one room to the other. Everybody is in the field of room. It doesn't matter where you're sitting. She's going to be able to see everything that's going on. Not only that, we can use this incredible amount of resolution to zoom in on faces and give a really high quality, high fidelity experience no matter what you do, be it with Skype, be it with gameplay, whatever you want to do with the color feed. Uh, really quite beautiful. We have about six times the fidelity that we had in the first version of Kinect, so fantastic improvement. Um, you know, as much as I love the color feed, it has one disadvantage to it. It's really dependent upon lighting. Um, so Michelle, if I can get you to bring down the lights, everyone might want to hold still for a minute. So as you can see, in the dark, this doesn't really work. Uh, I'm a hardcore gamer. I watch movies in the dark. I play games in the dark. So we wanted to give connect the ability to see in the dark. So that's exactly what we did. Uh, this is our this is the version of the eyes that we call Active IR, and what it's doing is it is in fact seeing in the dark. So you, you can all make out yourselves in the back of the room. We can still see the quality of your face. Anything that you want to do is independent of lighting. I need a flashlight over here. I got fine. Okay, I'm gonna back once. So what I'm going to do right now is with a flashlight, I'm going to actually simulate what happens in a real world gamer environment. You get a lamp that's on the side. You might want to close your eyes. You get a lamp, you get side lighting, you get back lighting, all kinds of stuff. You know, this really makes the color feed unusable. I'm going to switch back to active IR. And you can see not only can we see in the dark, but we subtract all the ambient lighting that's going on in the room. It doesn't show up at all. So really a phenomenal step forward what we can do with computer vision, with identity, being able to see in the dark. Yeah, we can uh, go ahead and have the lights back on, Michelle. Thank you. All right, that was fantastic. Thanks. Yeah, can you go ahead and have a seat? So that really covers uh, the eyes in the room. Now I'm going to talk about the ears. So when I'm gaming at home, I've got the 5.1 setup. I've got the sound crank. There's background music. There's gunfire. There's explosions. There's characters talking, yelling, all kinds of stuff going on and I'm on my sofa trying to issue commands. So this is kind of like the typical you know, audio environment that we're in, either when you're playing a game or when you're watching an action movie. So what I'm about to play for you is an actual recording from one of the microphones in our microphone array down on the bottom here uh, of what the Kinect actually hears from what's going on in the room. It's going to be a little bit loud, just a little bit of a heads up. Now, what we're about to play is the exact same recording after it's been processed by our custom hardware on the Xbox One and our next generation software audio Delta pipeline. Squad, move left. Delta squad, take cover. So we've cut out all that game sound, and this is a signal that we're able to use for speech recognition. Rocket strike, target alpha. Pretty fantastic stuff. So that's the eyes and the ears. Now I'm going to talk about the brains. This is the really fun part. Now, this is where the full capability of Microsoft as a company really comes together. You know, the engineers on my team, we collaborate with all the top experts in the world in Microsoft research in computer vision, machine learning, speech recognition, facial recognition, um, you know, digital signal processing. We take all that and we harness it all together and, you know, bring the platform that we're about to see. So I'm going to need another volunteer for this next part, someone who's not afraid to move around. Come on up. I'm going to walk you through all kinds of stuff, so. All right. That works. Okay, so you're all familiar with scalable tracking? Here's the next generation version. Uh, you kind of saw this briefly in the keynote. Right away, I'll point out the incredible stability of the skeleton that we have. As he's moving, hey, you're a great demo subject. Um, you got some groovy moves going on there. 
you can see the incredible quality of the skeleton that we have, the accuracy with which he's moving. Um, you know, we have anatomical correctness. We've got more spine joints, shoulder joints, collarbone, accurately represented. You can shrug your shoulders, you can move your, your body side to side, and you represent all that in 3D with complete accuracy. You know, th this doesn't only work for one person, it'll work for six simultaneously. We'll kind of get to that in the end. Um, the other thing that I'll point out is the hand, tip, and thumb that we have there. You hold your hand up and do open close. You can actually see that moving in the skeleton. If you rotate around, you can see your thumb moving around. So incredible fidelity, huge step forward from where we were before. So, you know, great representation of what's going on with the joints and how they're connected. Uh, but let's talk about orientation. This is one of my favorite guys, we call him Block Man. Um, and as he's moving around, you can actually see the orientation of his hands, of his legs. You can pick your leg up and switch it all around. And you can see that we have the fidelity and the software technology to be able to actually ac accurately track all of his joint orientations in real time. If you kind of move your head around in some small nose circles, we'll actually be able to see, you know, Bachman's head moving around, real-time representation of what's going on. This is all fantastic. You know, I'm 6'4", but my skeleton only weighs 8 pounds. If you want to represent what's happening with me, you've got to really describe what's going on just with all the muscles and all the forces in my body. That's how I lead into Muscle Man. So Muscle Man is a realistic human-based physics model put on top of our skeleton and our high-quality depth map in real time calculating the actual forces he's feeling on his body. So if you could, just shift your weight between your two feet. And you can see the color changing from green to red, like representing the intensity of force that he's feeling in real time. He's feeling it and you're seeing it. Now if you go ahead and do a squat for me. Right? So you can see his thighs kind of bulging out, the torque and the force that he's experiencing calculated in real time. You know, as you're moving your shoulders around, you're seeing the biceps and the triceps flex a little bit. If you were to jump, you're going to go completely green. Obviously, oh, when you, oh, <laughs> sorry about that. Oh, when, one more time. When you're in the air, there's no force being applied to you. You want to jump again? Okay. Yeah, fantastic real time. And we can use the technology to not only estimate what's going on with your muscles, but also the force that's being applied. So give me a nice, tight little jab. Nothing too big. See the white circles kind of representing the momentum that's coming together? Now really put your back into it, shift your weight, boom. Look, if you, if you notice, depending on how well he's going to punch, you can see the weight shifting between his two feet, you can see his core tightening up, and you can see the white circle kind of representing how much power he's getting in there. So, complete human understanding happening in real time. Uh, you know, so this is fantastic, but any decent trainer will tell you if you want to really know what's going on with the body, you've got to be able to understand heart rate as well. So that's the lead into our next section. In real time, from our color feed and from our infrared signal, we're able to estimate your heart rate just based upon looking at the skin in your face. I need to go faster. <laughs> yeah, you can read. So if you can look at the camera, what we're doing here is, you know, the Connect is detecting human Sorry. imperceptible fluctuations in his face. The intensity of his skin is changing, you know, the, the slight coloration change. Like we're actually detecting his pulse in the skin of his face in real time. He's not wearing a heart rate monitor, he doesn't have anything on his hands or on his fingers, like total like so in real time, we're detecting it. You can see it, you know, we're kind of locking on and detecting his actual heart beating. So for exercise scenarios, for measuring his exertion, you know, nothing can be beat. We know completely what his body's doing. We can estimate his heart rate. We have you know, fantastic information about what's going on. All right, so you know, we've kind of covered the body really well. Now we want to talk about the player specifically. So this is what we call our player info. And we've got somebody who got a little bit too close over here, but let me, let me do this real quick. All right, so we have you know guest number seven. Obviously, he's listed as guest because I haven't seen him before. A couple of things I'm pointing out. Um, we're able to detect his expression. You can toggle between happy and not happy, and we can detect it in real time. Uh, the next thing I'll point out is engaged. If you're looking at the screen, you're engaged. If you look away for a second, not engaged. So you can't see it, but everybody else can. You know, the power of this is that we're able to distinguish when you look at the Xbox and say Xbox pause. Or when you look away and say Xbox pause, you know not to fire there. So I'm going to come in and join you here. And it's going to get two people going at once. All right, so it's identifying me. And look, uh, you may have noticed it's already listed me as Kareem. So identity is fired already. It knows who I am. It sees that I'm holding a controller. I'm going to hand this one to you. All right. So we've got a lot of people moving around over here. I'm going to grab one more controller. <coughs> 
as we're over here in the view, you can see I'm holding controller one. We can switch controllers. And it's going to be able to track the controllers what? as we move this around. Crazy. We didn't push any buttons, like not an Get audience. Out of here. Or anything. Uh, one more thing. Let's uh, let's switch places. Okay. All right. I noticed you know split screen automatically changed. Long gone are the days of sofa jockeying or trading controllers when you're trying to line up on who's what side of the screen. You know those days are over. We you know completely what's kind of going on in the room. So you you know if you know we'd be smiling. We know what the bodies are doing. We just have a fantastic platform a lot. So now I'm going to bring up uh, you know, the full screen muscle force and invite you guys all up to play. I hope I see the controller for you. I think we have just a couple more minutes before you guys get up. But uh, come on up, have a play. Don't Take hurt anybody while you're punching and kicking. Jump. <laughs> 